One of the most common questions that I get on stream, and something I'm asked often in the comments section, is how do I price check something? When I do a lot of rod crafting, I'll often be asked, but how much time will it take you to price check that? My answer? None at all. Because for most of the items, I'm not going to price check them. But if you like spending four hours blasting maps, or rod crafting, instead of price checking your items, you may find this video useful. If you get 10 exalts or less in a league and often find yourself wondering, should I even pick this up? Is it worth price checking? It'll definitely never sell. If you fall back on the chaos recipe, then this video may be useful. The chaos recipe can be efficient if you level up quickly and optimize it early on. But think of it this way. To complete the chaos recipe, you get two chaos orbs from picking up 10 items. So if you want to make one exalted orb, and exalts are 100 chaos, you need to complete 50 chaos recipes, or 500 items. And it's not like they can be any old 500 items. You're going to need rings and amulets as the main limiting factor here. So ultimately, the chaos recipe might keep you from going broke, but it's also going to guarantee that you're poor. The chaos recipe provides incremental currency, and what I'm about to talk about is a little bit different. It's not incremental, but it means you don't have to think about selling most of your items, and it will scale with your knowledge and also the content you're doing. So what I use instead is a dump tab system. I use dump tabs so that I don't have to get bogged down price checking things, and I also don't have to worry about low value trades. Let's say you have four premium stash tabs. To start off with setting up your dump tabs, you'll want to pick a value you're unwilling to trade for. If the idea of leaving your map for one, two, three, or even five chaos just makes you feel like it's not worth it, if you want to ignore that trade whisper you just got, then you shouldn't price anything for that little. If we're talking about early league, I personally might not want to leave my map for less than five chaos. If we're talking late league, I might not want to leave for anything less than 40 chaos. The numbers for you will probably be different than me. But for now, let's go with 5C, because I think that number does apply to a lot of players. So you price the first tab at 5C. Next, you need a good increment above 5 chaos, something where you think a lot of items will fall into that, but it isn't too high either. Most likely something like 10 or 15. There's no specific magic number here, you can pick whatever you want. But I feel like there's a lot of items that'll sell at 5, and a good few that'll sell at 10 or 15, especially early on. So my second tab will be 15. From there, I'll price the third tab at 30C, and the fourth tab at 50C. I don't expect I don't expect that many things to sell in these tabs. But if you get some good movement speed boots, some gear with resists, or maybe some spell suppression gloves, it'll happen occasionally. And especially if I'm crafting with ROG, 50 chaos items aren't that unrealistic. Though ideally, very few items in that 50C tab should sell, because the goal is to intentionally price the tab higher than you expect the items to be worth. This way, you can use it as a filter for the gaps in your knowledge. I'm not advocating that you intentionally price things lower than they should be when you know what it's worth, just to get whispers faster or annoy people. If you knowingly throw a 2-3 to three exalt item in your 50C tab, then raise the price from 50 to 55 to 60 to 70, well, to quote Tujin, you're being an ass. But if you don't know what an item is worth, and you throw a 2 to 3 X item into that tab, well, you'll know pretty quickly, because you will get a lot of messages. And this is where that tab becomes invaluable. If you put an item into the tab, and someone tries to buy it from you immediately, that's a sign that the item is more valuable than you think. If you get a message for an item in the tab a couple days after you put it in, then it's probably worth 50C and go ahead and sell it. But those immediate messages are far more important. That means someone's probably running a live search, either because they need the item for their build or they're trying to flip cheap listings for a profit. And it tells you that if they messaged immediately, it's probably worth more than 50 chaos. So you take the item out of a tab and start price checking it. Go on the trade site, then look at the mods on the item. See what's there that works together and try to price check based on that. If it has a bunch of attack tagged modifiers, well, it's probably an item for attack builds. If it has a bunch of caster tagged modifiers, it's probably something for spellcasters, and most of the time you can safely exclude an attack mod that happens to be on the item. If in doubt, ask a friend, or maybe even one of the players messaging you. A lot of people are going to be happy to tell you why they want the item and what it's worth in exchange for getting the item they need. Yes, in some cases, someone will be dishonest and say it's junk or try to lowball you and those people can be safely added to your ignore list. But in many cases, if someone's just looking for an item and yours happened to be the first one that popped up, you still answered them, you're still willing to sell it, as long as it's roughly the accurate price, they'll be happy to give you the currency. 
Maybe your item isn't worth 50 C, but it's worth 150. Sell it to them for 140. After all, they're doing you a favor, and in this case, everyone wins. Because now, you don't only have the 140 chaos, you also have the knowledge that next time you know what that item is worth. Now that I've talked about the basics of using a dump tab, I do want to go over a few more details. Before I do though, a quick reminder that if you found this helpful, please leave a like. If you want to see more content, such as some early league money making strategies, then get subscribed as I'm going to be releasing that video in the near future. If you want more content immediately, then check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts, where you can find all the most recent gaming news. That'll be in the card and down in the description below. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members, but more about that at the end. For now, what do you do when your 50 chaos tab fills up? Well, quite simple. You lower the price of the tab to 30C, you lower your 30C tab to 15, your 15C tab to 5, you then vendor everything in the 5C tab, and set it up to 50C. There are a lot of items that will fall in between those numbers. Something that might not be worth 50C, but it might be worth 40 or 45. Something that's not worth 30, but is worth 25 or 20. Yes, you do lose out on a little bit of money by doing this method. But the upside is immense. You don't have to think about pricing an item that is worth 50C or less. And if you use more tabs, or you price your tabs higher, then you don't need to worry about pricing much of anything. I've used as many as 8 dump tabs before. And when I do that, I might not have to worry about pricing a single item below 5 exalts, and trust me, even with how much I play and how much money I make, I don't get 5 exalt items all that often. Instead, I just chuck everything in a tab, rotate it regularly, and wait for it to sell. Doing a method like this, especially if you're willing to ask questions when someone buys an item, can also teach you a lot about Path of Exile. You might think a random wand with fizz damage and plus one all spell skills is junk, and would have vendored it. But then you find out there's a spell slinger build that someone's playing, which it happens to be perfect for. If you have an item for sale, which someone messages you for, you look at the item and go, I have no idea why anyone would ever want to buy this. Maybe it's time to ask them, well, why? What's their build? Or what do they need the item for? Most people will be upfront and tell you why they want it. And remember, you can always apply this knowledge to future sales. If you don't have premium tabs, you can use something like procurement, but it's been a very long time since I messed with any of that, and I don't remember exactly how to do it. You'll have to find a guide elsewhere for that. When it comes to trading in Path of Exile, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to making profit. You have to find what works for you, especially because the thing that works for best is the thing that the least people are doing, but for most people want the result of. However, when it comes to the annoyance of trade, there's some pretty simple shortcuts which you can use to make trade a lot easier to stomach. It's not necessarily going to make you fabulously wealthy. I'm sure someone's going to use a clickbait title on a video like this saying, you'll make 100 exalts easily. Well, probably not. But what I can guarantee is, if you use this method, you will sell more items than you did before, and you'll spend less time worrying about the annoying part of trade, such as price checking items, and more time with a good part of trade, i.e. people handing you amounts of money that you consider to be large. You'll be able to upgrade your build more easily, and you don't even have to bother with the chaos recipe. Who knows, maybe you'll even learn a little bit more about how builds in Path of Exile work, and that could help you make your own build. But now I'm curious, have you ever used the dump tab method before? If so, around how many dump tabs do you tend to keep around? Personally, I find between 5 and 7 to be the sweet spot, but sometimes I use more, and in the past I've used less. And I'm curious how many other people use, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support helps keep me independent and allows me to turn down things like sketchy mobile game sponsorships. You can do so for as low as $1 a month over on Patreon, or if you want to support me completely for free, then you can join the community by hopping into my Discord, link below. If you want more content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts. It's a place that I use to review games, ramble my way through video essays, and a lot more. Or of course, you can just click the suggested video in the card right now. I hope you learned something today, and maybe I'll see you again sometime soon.